Bună ziua! Stimați domnule președinte a Parlamentului, excelențele voastre, stimați domni, stimați colegi, vă mulțumesc pentru că ați dat curs invitației noastre de a participa la evenimentul de lansare a unui proiect major de asistență twinning, finanțat de Uniunea Europeană. Proiectul pe care îl anunțăm astăzi are scopul de a consolida supravegherea, guvernanța corporativă și gestionarea riscurilor în sectorul financiar al Republicii Moldova. Beneficiarii acestei asistențe sunt Banca Națională a Moldovei și Comisia Națională a Pieței Financiare. Astfel, pe parcursul următorilor doi ani, BNM și CNPF vor beneficia de experiența și expertiza amplă a unor instituții partenere din Uniunea Europeană, care s-au reunit într-un consorțiu pentru a ne ajuta să fortificăm sistemul financiar din țara noastră. Acești parteneri, pe care sunt onorat să-i salut la acest eveniment, sunt Banca Națională a României, în calitate de partener senior, precum și Banca Centrală a Regatului Țărilor de Jos și Banca Centrală a Lituaniei. De asemenea, în cadrul acestui proiect, vom fi sprijiniți de Autoritatea de Supraveghere Financiară din România și Autoritatea Națională pentru Protecția Consumatorilor din România. Țin să aduc mulțumirea acestor instituții și de adevărați prieteni care au binevoit să ne susține pe drumul nostru de dezvoltare a sistemului financiar și de alinierea acestui la cele mai bune standarde și practici europene. Totodată, mulțumim Uniunii Europene, reprezentate aici de Delegația UE din Republica Moldova, pentru asistența continuă și semnificativă orientată spre modernizarea sectorului financiar din Moldova. Twinning este un instrument excellent is an excellent instrument to support the institutional capacities and an important support in advancing the reforms. I can state this because the previous twinning strengthening the capacities of the bank in the area of banking regulation and supervision was successful and fruitful with many benefits recognized by the society and foreign partners it was an example of efficient implementation of objectives on financial services established by moldova and european union Union within the association agreement. The current twinning project is the expression of a strong commitment of the National Bank and the Commission to continue the development of the financial sector in Moldova in line with international standards and the standards of the European Union and to continue efficiently applying the association agreement. This time, the twinning assistance shall not limit only to the banking sector, but would include some other key areas like financial stability, macroprudential policies, payment services and financial market infrastructure. At the same time, a part of the assistance would be provided to strengthen the capacities in the area of insurances and the organizations of non-banking financial institutions by allowing the, this to the normative framework and the uh, framework applicable in the European Union. I will not stop on the specific objectives of this project because more details shall be presented in the following moments. Still, I would like to highlight some expected outcomes of this project. Building and diversifying the instruments for macroprudential supervision, improvement of regulation and supervision of payment services and infrastructure of the financial market, as well as to ensure the necessary conditions so that Moldova would join the SEP. These, as well as other results, expected within the project are important not only for us and for the commission or for the national financial system as a whole all the achievements will have an impact uh, on economy 
on the population because they will allow putting in application for the financial institutions from Moldova of similar rules of activity to the European Union. And the alignment would give the local investors as well as foreign investors to participate in the sustainable development of a local financial market with a high level of safety with qualitative financial products and services that would meet as good as possible the current needs of different consumers and customers. We at the National Bank of Moldova have made the commitment, we are determined, we have a qualified team of specialists that will dedicate their work in order to successfully implement the project. We have the experience of an ambitious reform agenda in the banking sector that has been implemented successfully by the bank team in the last years. On the other hand, we have the support of a remarkable consortium of European Union institutions, which reach experience, valuable knowledge that we are eager to discover and transpose them into our national framework. Hopefully, there will be an efficient cooperation with other competent authorities from the Republic of Moldova, so that the twinning project turns into real benefits for the citizens and for the economy. We are trust for, for uh, the, this in, inter-institutional cooperation will be fully used for the benefit of the population and modernizing our country. We certainly rely on the support of the parliament in the process of promoting the initiatives aiming to contribute to the development of strengthening the financial system in our country in line with the best international and European practices. It's an honor to give the floor to Mr. Igor Grosso, Speaker of the Parliament of the Republic of Moldova. Governor, Your Excellencies, dear guests, good morning. Today we are launching a very important project for our financial system. Due to this project, the National Bank and the National Commission for Financial Markets will benefit from the expertise and support of three central banks from the European Union. The expertise of Lithuania, the Dutch expertise and the Romanian expertise. Jointly, we will be supported to advance in our financial system. The financial sector of the Republic of Moldova in the last decade has gone through some collapses and issues that affected the financial system, the business, system, the citizens, the image and credibility of the Republic of Moldova. And this happened including because of the fragility of the institutions that had to manage this situation from the financial uh, sector. That is why this project, along with other projects that we have carried out in Moldova, is of an important um, essence for us, for us, the citizens, our businesses, all those who work in the financial sector. Since then, some things have changed. Some progress has been recorded at the level of legislation and regulation, but many things are awaiting for us. We have to work a lot until we say that our country is not any longer an attractive environment for those who prefer to destabilize the situation on the financial markets in one country or another. Therefore, my call and hope is that the development partners, the three banks and not only the Romanian authorities as well will contribute substantially to support the financial sector of the Republic of Moldova. 
there's a lot to do to protect the consumers of financial services, to protect them from abuses, to bring more order on the regulated markets and to prevent over deaths of the population. But we will do them all stepwisely. So far, this sector has benefited from a significant support coming from partners and our good friends from the European Union. I'm aware that the mission of high rank advisors have supported the National Bank, have supported the National Commit Commission for Financial Markets with a lot the of expertise in the last two years. I know there is a grand expertise in this area and hopefully this twinning project will support synergy in line with the efforts that have been reached. We have a common goal to make sure that the uh, things that have uh, taken place previously um, uh, will not happen any longer, that the crimes will not be committed any longer, and uh, the financial system is strengthened in the benefit of our businesses and citizens. A safe, stable, developed, uh, transparent financial system and supervised from a qualitative point of view is absolutely indispensable for a healthy economy. And any decision is taken here at the National Bank, at the Commission. And these decisions have impact on the businesses and on, on our citizens. On behalf of the Parliament of the Republic of Moldova, you have the assurance that now in the Republic of Moldova, there is political will to conduct reforms. The reforms are necessary for the citizens and for the entrepreneurs. We wish you good luck in implementing this project. And once again, you have all our support my personnel and the support of the parliament to promote and advance these long-awaited and necessary reforms in the financial sector. Thank you. Honored Speaker of the Parliament, thank you so much for your message. And we hope to reiterate that the National Bank of Moldova remains firmly anchored in its commitment to contribute fully to the stability and development of the financial and banking system of Moldova. Now, the twinning project that we launched today is one of the many forms of assistance that the EU is offering for a number of years to the Republic of Moldova to help us build a financial system which is resilient and strong aligned to the current requirements. I invite now Yanis Mazeiks, the ambassador of the EU to the Republic of Moldova, to make a speech. Your Excellency, you have the floor. Your Excellencies, dear Mr. Speaker, esteemed Governor, dear experts and dear colleagues. It is my pleasure to be present today at the opening event of the long-expected EU twinning project aimed at strengthening supervision, corporate governance and risk management in the financial sector. In these times of COVID pandemic and challenges in global energy markets, Republic of Moldova remains an important partner of the European Union. The association agreement, including the deep and comprehensive free trade area, are stable bases for our partnership, also in times that are difficult for all of us. The European Union has been a long-standing long -starting supporter of impactful structural reforms that bring benefits to the Republic of Moldova, its citizens and its businesses. We have done so through our continued direct engagement with partner institutions, through our high-level advisors and our financial support provided to this sector, as has been already mentioned. Moldova's financial sector and economy were significantly affected by the 2014 banking fraud. 
and that was caused by insufficiently strong legal framework and governance of the sector, high-level corruption and vested interests. Since the bank fraud, the Republic of Moldova reformed the banking sector by improving its transparency and stability, which resulted in increased foreign investments into the banking sector. The EU has been supporting the National Bank of Moldova to develop new banking legislation in line with Basel III standards, as well as to strengthen its independence. This EU twinning project is another example of our commitment to support systemic improvements in the financial sector that can benefit to all citizens of the country. We are all aware about the importance of a properly managed financial sector, the need to assess financial risks, combat money laundering, and also the benefits of Moldova joining the single euro payment area. We are confident that this project comes at the right moment, especially in the context of expected reforms in the financial sector related to the supervision of non-banking financial system. The implementation of this twinning project will provide a practical framework and support for the reform process. The assistance provided within the twinning project should be utilized as an opportunity for the National Bank of Moldova and the National Commission for Financial Markets to work together and jointly benefit from the vast knowledge of our twinning partners. As always, with EU support, we would also like to encourage the citizens and civil society representatives to be informed and engaged in the process. And we're looking forward to a constant dialogue during the implementation of this EU twinning project. I would like to wish you all a fruitful implementation of the twinning project with tangible benefits for all the beneficiaries. Also, I would like to encourage you all to stay healthy and safe during this period, with the hope that in the future we can all meet physically in Chisinau. Thank you. Excellency Ambassador, thank you so much for these words of encouragement and support and for the unwavering support of the EU that we appreciate highly. Now, as I mentioned, the next two years will benefit from the support of some part institutions from the EU so that together we can advance the reform of the financial system of this country. Now, one of the senior partners in this project of the NBM has a long and rich history of cooperation and which became a trustworthy friend. This is the National Bank of Romania. The lead of the project with a coordinating role in this endeavor. Now, it is my pleasure to invite the governor of the National Bank of Romania, Mr. Bogur Isarescu. Dear Speaker of the Parliament of the Republic of Moldova, Dear Governor Armashu, Your Excellency of the Ambassador of the European Union of the Republic of Moldova, Honorable President of the Central Bank of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, Klaus Not, and President of the Central Bank of Lithuania, Mr. Gediminas Simkus. Mr. Vice Chairman of the Board of Directors of the National Commission for Financial Markets of the Republic of Moldova. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to deliver this address, not only from the position of Governor of the NBR, but also as veteran partner of the National Bank of Moldova. Looking back, I am pleased to note the remarkable progress made by the Republic of Moldova over the past decades, moving towards a banking financial system of international and European standards. The modernization of the financial and banking system of the Republic of Moldova 
is ultimately to the benefit of the society and citizens. From 1991, Romania and the National Bank of Romania have supported Moldova, have supported National Bank of Moldova. I mean, the issues, the first monetary issues of Moldova, I mean, the technical support expertise, but also professional training was the first area of institutional collaboration. This was followed by collaboration in many years of professional training. And I recall, for example, the 2001 project in the field of banking supervision and the provision of technical assistance in the field of inflation targeting in 2010 and the twinning project in the field of banking regulation and supervision in 2015, 2017. Multilateral cooperation is also not worthy within the framework of the joint constituencies of the IMF or in the framework of the meetings of the Club of Governors of the Black Sea region, Central Asia and the Balkan states. Given the more than 30 years of close bilateral institutional cooperation between the National Bank of Romania and the National Bank of Moldova, highlighted by the strategic partnerships for the development and expansion of cooperation in the areas of mutual interest, I'd like to highlight the positive synergies, which I'm convinced represent a major factor of progress for this project, but also for future ones. I should underline as well the major role of uh, the management, uh, management of the National Bank of Moldova in this cooperation. And I use this opportunity to thank them and uh, appreciate the cooperation. Ladies and gentlemen, we are today in a context where globally both governments and central banks have acted swiftly to address negative impact of the coronavirus pandemic through social, economic, tax and monetary policies. The unprecedented mobilization of authorities in a complex and determined manner have largely ensured the smooth functioning of markets, economic and social mechanisms. In this respect, strengthening the capacities to respond to adverse situations is essential. And this can be achieved by strengthening supervision, corporate governance, risk management in the financial sector. These are the fundamental coordinates of the new twinning program. The twinning program that we launched today has a broad scope, not only for the banking sector, but also for the entire financial market in the Republic of Moldova. It aims to benefit both the National Bank of Moldova and the National Financial Markets Commission of the Republic of Moldova by strengthening institutional capacities and governance, as well as developing the regulatory, supervisory and operational framework for enhanced functionality. From my perspective, the National Bank of Romania has accumulated over time after 1990 with the support of its partners from the European Union, including with the support of the Central Bank of the Netherlands, the bank that I should mention specifically here. We've gathered a solid experience and expertise. Now it is our duty as senior partner to transmit it through this project to the Republic of Moldova. And uh, we can do this efficiently, having the advantage of the Romanian language. The complexity of the new project over the two years brings together an outstanding project team, I would say. The work will comprise five highly technical components, 
in the areas of financial macro stability, prudential supervision of the non-bank financial sector, the domestic supervisory regulatory framework, and the regulatory framework for payment infrastructure and its functionality in line with European standards. I'd like to mention our current partners in the Lisha Bank and Lietuvas Bankas, as well as the Financial Supervisor Authority from Romania and the National Authority for the Protection of Consumers from Romania. In conclusion, I'd like to wish success to the project team, and I express my conviction that through this new winning program, the financial banking system of the Republic of Moldova will strengthen its conversion, convergence to um, the European Union standards and the financial, international financial standards, and will continue its alignment to European standards for the pursuit of macrofinancial stability and the strengthening of the prudential supervisory framework. The development of the prudential supervision in the insurance sector, the extension of the FELIGO framework for the supervision in the insurance sector and the extension or this, actually, um, the improvements of the payment framework in line with the single euro payments area requirements. I'd like to congratulate my project partners um, to whom I commend my special appreciation. I wish success to the beneficiaries of this project. I wish success to the National Bank of Moldova, to the governor, Armasho, who is a trustworthy partner in our bilateral cooperation. I'm convinced that uh, the achievement of these objectives will lead to increased resilience and support the development of the Moldovan economy. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Governor, for the support. And we express our trust in the role of the National Bank of Romania as coordinator of the project shall play as an important factor in its success. Thank you very much. Another major partner of the project that the National Bank of Moldova has a long and rich cooperation is the Central Bank of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. The experience and top exp ex expertise of this institution is very useful for us and this helped us to improve the financial system of our country. I would like to invite the President of the Central Bank of the uh, Kingdom of the Netherlands with a speech. Class not, you have the floor. Honorable guests, uh, colleagues, uh, dear friends, Octavian, Mugur, Gadiminas, I would like to start by saying that I'm quite grateful for this invitation to speak here at this uh, important event. In the aftermath of the global financial crisis almost 14 years ago now, we at the Dutch Central Bank did quite some soul searching on how to make our supervision of the financial sector more effective. We were much inspired by an IMF paper that was called Learning to Say No, and that was published around that time. Although the title sounded a bit like a guide for young parents, the paper basically defined, it, defined the key elements of good supervision and what is needed to achieve it. And it's perhaps the best paper on supervisory practice ever written. According to the authors, two things are needed for good supervision. First, the ability to supervise, and that requires appropriate resources, good laws and regulations, expert knowledge, authority, and a constructive working relationship with other agencies. But second, next to ability, supervisors also need to have the will to act. They must be willing and empowered to take timely and effective action, to intervene in decision-making, to question common wisdom, and to take unpopular decisions. 
when you come to think of it, a lot of this also applies to other typical central bank mandates, such as monetary policy, payments oversight, and more generally, preserving financial stability. Today, we mark the start of the EU20 project, aimed at strengthening supervision, corporate governance, and risk management in the financial sector of the Republic of Moldova. As a long-standing partner of the National Bank of Moldova, also in the IMF and the World Bank constituency, we at the Dutch Central Bank are more than happy to contribute, together with our Romanian and Lithuanian partners. The intermediate aim of the project is to strengthen the capacity of the National Bank of Moldova and the National Commission for Financial Markets, and to align their functions and operations with EU regulations and international standards. But of course, the ultimate objective goes beyond this. That is to improve stability, functioning, and trust in the financial system, so that the people of Moldova can build their future, knowing that their money is safe, that they can pay without trouble, and that they can get credit to buy a house or to start up a business. Such a financial system cannot exist without a strong central bank and a strong supervisor. As a central bank and supervisor that has the ability and the will to act. I trust the EU twinning project will greatly improve the supervisory abilities of the Moldovan authorities through developing effective tools, methodologies and procedures, and through training. Here, it can build on the success of the previous twinning project, also thanks to the efforts of our colleagues of the National Bank of Romania. But as the IMF indicated, and as we learned the hard way during the global financial crisis, this may not be enough. Developing the will to act is a much more difficult task, and it requires supervisors to have a clear and unambiguous mandate, operational independence coupled with accountability, and a relationship with industry and government that avoids regulatory capture. This is not always something that technical cooperation can deliver. For this to happen, society must stand with its supervisors as they play their role as guardians of financial stability. This is not only important, but it is also the rational thing to do, because in the end, financial stability is in the interest of everybody. On that note, I will end my remarks, and I wish our Moldovan partners and the project team yet another success in building a strong financial system in Moldova. Thank you. Estimate domnule guvernator Knot, vă mulțumesc. Dear Governor Knot, thank you. Bearing in mind that we had good cooperation developed with the Central Bank of your country, I'm fully convinced that this time, with joint efforts, we will manage to reach the objectives of the twinning project. Thank you. The National Bank of Moldova has also developed a good cooperation with another key partner of the twinning project, the Central Bank of Lithuania. And the assistance provided by this institution contributes to the development of the capacities in the financial area in the Republic of Moldova. We're grateful for the support that we have benefited from you. It's the greatest pleasure to give the floor to the president of the board of the Central Bank of uh, Lithuania, Mr. Gidemina Simkus. <clears throat> dear Governor Masu, dear fellow governors, honorable guests, project leaders, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor to be part of this kickoff event of the youth winning project dedicated to the financial sector of uh, Moldova. I consider it, a, I consider it uh, to be a truly special occasion given the already mentioned a long history of cooperation between the Bank of Lithuania and the National Bank of Moldova. 
over the years, this cooperation has built professional and even personal relationships that bring our institutions closer together. And I'm confident that over the next few years, these connect connections will only grow stronger and yielding yet further fruitful cooperation. I will open my remarks with the words of the great philosopher Aristotle, who said once, excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and eventually of uh, intelligent execution. In recent years, the National Bank of Moldova, its willingness in the pursuit of excellence, despite an often challenging environment, it has managed to strongly improve its governance and autonomy, build solid capacity and expertise to implement credible policy decisions, as well as to strengthen its standing within the international central banking community. Excellence, however, is an open-ended goal. It is a constant endeavor to look for ways for improvement, and a twinning project like this one, like ours, manifests a sincere effort by the Moldavian authorities to seek excellence. The twinning project sets out an ambitious agenda for the next two years. Project participants will deepen their knowledge and capacities in critical areas, such as macroprudential policy, supervision of insurance sector and non-bank credit organizations, as well as the internal regulation of oversight activities. The project also aims to improve the regulatory quality and contribute to a sounder and a more stable financial system. The twinning project will also support the Republic of Moldova in implementing reforms related to the EQ Communitaire that are part of the EU Moldova Association Agreement. From a broader perspective, improving institutional and regulatory quality is one of the key prerequisites to achieving sustainable long-term economic growth and to accelerating economic convergence with the European Union. By the Moldavian authorities will be at the center of the initiative, it is, it is important to emphasize that all the participants stand to benefit from the project because I think, I believe, twinning projects are recipro reciprocal exercises that enable the mutual exchange of knowledge and expertise and experience, broadening the perspective of all parties involved. And in this regard, I believe that the twinning project will bring as much value for the experts at the National Bank of Moldova as for the experts coming to share their knowledge. Dear colleagues, before I conclude, I would like to thank all the managers and coordinators for this exceptional organizational work they did to prepare for launching the, this training project. And as the saying goes, well planned is half done. And I have a feeling that thus far the administrative side of the project has progressed very smoothly. I would also like to extend my appreciations to the colleagues leading the project for the National Bank of Romania, as well as to co-partner the Central Bank of, of Netherlands and all the other partners that will contribute to the project. We are deeply honored to be part of the consortium of such distinguished institutions that are at the very top of the league. On, a final, on, on the final note, let me also express my firm conviction that the high intention expressed by Moldavian authorities will lead to successful implementation of the twinning project and the, and the accomplishments that will be achieved will assist the National Bank of Moldova as well as National Commission for Financial Markets in their sincere pursuit of excellence. I wish you all a pleasant meeting today and fruitful cooperation going forward. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. Stimate domnule Guvernator Simcus. Governor Simcus, thank you for this message. And I should tell you that uh, I'm very confident in the tuning project because we are supported in this project by a partner with a rich expertise, such as Central Bank of Lithuania. Thank you so much, sir. The assistance to be provided in this tuning project will strengthen the capacities both for the banking system, but also for the non-banking financial sector. It is very important that all of the components of the financial system of Moldova, including the area of insurance, non-banking 
hiring is strengthened efficient and to function efficiently to the final benefit of the citizens and of the businesses and of the country in general. Now, I invite Mr. Vitaly Lemne, every chair of the board of the National Commission for Financial Markets. Speaker of Parliament, Your Excellency, Mr. Ambassador of the EU in Moldova, honored governors, honored leaders and participants to the project, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure and I'm so happy to participate in this official event of launching the twinning project dedicated to the financial sector of this country, strengthening supervision, corporate governance, and risk management in the financial sector. On behalf of the whole team of the NCFM, I use this opportunity to express my utmost consideration to the EU Commission, the delegation of the EU in Moldova, for the financial support and advisory assistance offered during the implementation of the reforms and accomplishment of uh, European integration objectives, strengthening institutional capacities and operational capacities of the regulatory authorities and supervisors of the financial market of Moldova. Now, also, I should thank our project partners, National Bank of Romania, the Financial Supervisory Authority of Romania, the Central Bank of Netherlands, the Central Bank of Lithuania, and the National Authority for the Protection of Consumers from Romania, because they offer us the opportunity to implement the second twinning project on the financial market. We appreciate highly the fact that during the last years, this complex exercise will strengthen the cooperation relations between us, with the regulatory authorities of the financial sector of Moldova and the regulatory authorities and supervisory authorities from three European countries, including by exchange of information and sharing best practice and professional competences in this field. During the implementation of the project, European partners and Moldovan partners, with the support of the EU, will work together to strengthen an efficient framework of regulation and supervision of the financial market in line with the best practice of the EU in order to apply the application of the of the law in order to monitor and ensure financial supervision of non-bank institutions, but also to maintain financial stability. From the from some missions that we've done so far, we've seen that the expert teams involved in the project activities prove a high degree of professionalism and frank openness to share experience and competence with the two beneficiary institutions. Now, because the implementation of this training project is a truly challenging job, I should like to assure all of our partners of the firm commitment and the full responsibility of the NCFM team to participate actively in the implementation of the project in order to improve the regulatory framework and supervisory framework, and in order to continue the reforms initiated in the insurance sector and the non-banking crediting system. Now allow me to conclude as an optimist that exchange of experience done and the knowledge exchange as a result of the implementation of the project will strengthen substantially the capacities of the NBM and of the National Commission for Financial Markets and will bring a considerable benefit to the economy of this country. I wish you all a, a good event and a good cooperation and full of satisfaction for the future. Thank you so very much. Honor Vice President, thank you so much for your message. And I would like to underline that a, um, I'm fully confident that the, our efforts of the two institutions will contribute to the implementation 
of this project, a successful one, and we will actually achieve the objective. The objectives that are facing our institutions, which is to ensure financial stability, and to ensure high quality services to the citizens of this country. Now, at the end, let me thank all our EVTs that have honored us with our, their presence uh, to launch this twinning project, a very important project for the whole society. I'd also like to wish you lots of health and a huge success to the project team in achieving the planned objectives. I'm confident that this co cooperation with our EU partners will offer in the immediate future benefits for the Republic of Moldova and will contribute to the process of European integration. Now going forward, the last part of this event of today, you will find out the information, more detailed information about the twinning project. In this regard, I invite with the presentation Ms. Maria Elena Georgescu. She is a senior expert in the International Relations Department of the National Bank of Romania, which, as I said at the beginning of the event, is project lead from the EU member state. Ms. Elena Georgescu, you have the floor. Good morning, honored speakers, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished audience, dear colleagues. It is an honor for me on behalf of the consortium created by the National Bank of Moldova, Netherlands Bank, Bank of Lithuania, the, the two authorities, which is Consumer Protection and the Supervisor Authority, to address you warm regards and to express the joy to launch this project dedicated to the financial sector of Moldova. Now, it is my pleasure to present you going forward the key elements of the project uh, for the National Bank of Moldova and to the National Commission for Financial Markets of Moldova. Let me start by presenting you uh, some um, strong points of the partners of the consortium from the Romanian part as project lead the National Bank of Romania with the uh, Financial Supervision Authority and the, in the National Authority for Consumer Protection have proved a good influence. And they have good experience and expertise in these project areas. And they have already a successful project, implemented one, and the twinning project dedicated to the National Bank of Moldova, uh, which has been connected from 2015 to 2017 by the consortium created from the National Bank of Romania together with the Central Bank of Netherlands. And uh, the strengthening of the capacities of the National Bank of Moldova in the area of supervising banking supervision and, reg and regulation. Also, in, uh, there is also a strong partnership uh, between the two central banks, the National Bank of Romania and the National Bank of Moldova, as well as a strong partnership at the bilateral level between the two uh, supervisory authorities, which is the uh, Financial Supervisory Authority of Romania, Romania and National Commission for Financial Markets from Moldova. We also have with us uh, the junior partners represented by the uh, Central Bank of Netherlands and that of Lithuania, who also have a solid experience and ex a solid expertise in providing assistance within the uh, cooperation project and they have a very good experience they these are banks uh, central banks which are members of the euro system and they have an institutional experience and one which is aimed at strengthen technical capacities in previous and current projects now going forward let me present you some general information about this project and the object, general objective is supporting the Republic of Moldova in implementing some reforms related to the association agreement and of the association agenda. And the specific objective is strengthening the supervision, corporate governance and risk management in the financial sector. 
The budget of the project is 1.7 million euro, and the implementation started on 18 October 2021. Now, the duration will be two years. Now, as part of the team that will implement this project, we have with us uh, the three uh, project leads for component coordinators. We have a team of 53 experts, short-term experts, that will be coordinated by the uh, resident uh, training advisor, which plan more than 11, 110 missions. And we have nine study visits to Romania as well as to Lithuania. And uh, you will have about a thousand man days within this project. Now at the same time, we will, uh, in this implementation, we will uh, follow closely the next principles of cooperation. We will identify the most appropriate solutions for beneficiary institutions. We will try to obtain sustainable results. We will strengthen institutional partnerships, which already exist between institutions, between the beneficiaries and the benefit partners of the consortium. We will ensure transfer of best practice of the EU. And we will also uh, aim at strengthening knowledge and skills of beneficiaries. Now, going forward, let me present you shortly the main, uh, the, the scope of, of this project. The first component is strengthen the macro financial framework in order to live up to the accumulation of systemic risks. Second component is aligning the legal framework on insurance sector supervision and of the MTPL to the acquis communautaire. Component number three is about development and application of a new legal framework that will consolidate the supervision of the NCBOs. The last two components are about the review, development, and improvement of the internal regulation of the MBM um, re regarding the activities related to the monitoring of the financial market infrastructure and of the payment services. And the last one uh, is aligning the legislation and of the regulatory framework for Moldova to the requirements of the SEPA and the preparation uh, of uh, Moldova's um, joining SEPA. Let me now present each component, uh, which are the results that we want to reach. Now, in the first component, which is the strengthening of the macro potential framework, we want to have a macro potential policy developed and approved. Uh, we want to develop macro potential stress tests. We want to have a model of interconnection between the various components of the financial system. I mean, um, banks, insurance, non credit banking, non, non bank payment services developed. And we will also develop and improve the quality of the annual reports of financial stability. All of these results will contribute to limiting and preventing the accumulation of systemic risks and the maintenance of a well functioning banking system and well capitalized. The second component uh, within this project, uh, and I mean here, uh, aligning the legal framework on the supervision of the insurance sector and of the MTPL to the uh, EU legislation, will aim to get the following results. We will analyze and we will make recommendations for the two uh, project uh, draft laws. The first one of the insurance activity um, from the perspective of the EU legislation and the, the Solvency II Director. And the second draft is the uh, MTPL and uh, uh, it's also when it comes to the EU directives. The second result uh, will be about the second realization regarding insurance sector and of the MTPL, which is aligned to the EU legislation, which will be developed and approved. The third result is about the assistance offered uh, in terms of the 
external audit of the insurance undertakings, including super supervision regu regulation and the follow-up of the audit report's conclusions. And the last result uh, is the uh, requirements of uh, solvency in minimum capital, which will be developed and applied. And the last uh, result that we want to uh, obtain is a stress test regime implemented by the insurers. All of these results will lead to improved governance and of the financial stability of the insurance companies and will increase the capacity of insurers to honor their obligations. Now, within the next component, I mean here, component number three, we will develop uh, methodologies, regulatory tools, and supervisory tools uh, necessary for the new legal framework, both primary as well as secondary legislation, including uh, those regarding uh, supervision of business uh, behavior, and that these methodologies and tools should be both developed and applied. We will also develop for internal procedures regarding fit and proper criteria uh, for the uh, uh, management of the NCBOs. And these procedures will be developed and implemented. We will formulate recommendations based on European practices regarding consumer protection in the area of uh, financial services. And uh, we will also have guidelines for supervisory controls for the NCBOs, um, including when it comes to um, money laundering and um, terrorist financing. All of these results will contribute also to the for the financial development of the NCBOs, um, increasing at the same time the transparency of the structure of the shareholding and improving the quality of corporate governance and ensure consumer protection. Now, within the next component, we will aim at uh, obtaining the next results. Um, the internal regulations regarding the um, supervision of the financial markets infrastructure and of the um, payment services aligned to the best international practice and as well as to the European standards. will also ensure that we train the uh, staff responsible for supervision to apply appropriately the new uh, regulatory framework. At the same time, we will have the necessary methodologies and the regulatory tools and supervisory tools developed and applied. All of these results will lead to improving safety and efficiency of the payment and settlement systems, elements which are essential for the stability, financial stability of the country. Now, within the next component, which is implemented by SEPA, we will have a comprehensive analysis of the current situation in the Republic of Moldova, and at the same time, of the necessary steps uh, to join the uh, SEPA and uh, we'll have an action plan with clear um, deadlines to join SEPA and the legal amendments prepared and the preparation of the application for Moldova to join SEPA. All of this, all of this um, results will aim to strengthen the economic relations between Moldova and the European economic space as well as diversification and uh, increasing the financial services available in Moldova. At the same time, within the project, I'd like to mention that we will um, have some general important results to, to reach. I mean, uh, development of the financial sector in Moldova in line with uh, the standards of the EU, strengthening the institutional capacity based on best practice and standards of the EU, uh, and uh, consolidate, will strengthen the supervisory framework for insurance and NCBOs, and will transfer um, the transfer of uh, knowledge and expertise from a consortium created by institutions from Romania, Lithuania, and Netherlands. And a very important element is implement their sustainable implementation within national framework of the Republic of Moldova the strengthening of the institutional 
partnership between the partnership partners of the consortium and of the beneficiary institutions. I'm fully convinced that the implementation will be successful. We have the premises created uh, based on the previous projects, and the implementation of the project will increase the resilience of the financial sector and also will support the de development of the Republic of Moldova in a sustainable manner. Thank you in advance for the involvement into this project. So a big thank you to the team and to the partners and to the beneficiary institutions. And I'm trustful uh, that we will enjoy um, the success uh, of this uh, project, similar as we did uh, with the last winning project. Thank you and good luck in implementation. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Georgescu for the presentation of the project. Indeed, it is complex, but long awaited by the National Bank of the Republic of Moldova, and I'm sure it will be successfully implemented. I'm very glad to remark that the kickoff of the twinning project mentions once again that there is a support from our partners for the development of the financial sector of the Republic of Moldova. For our country, this is a, a one step forward to make uh, the agenda of reforms in this area that we conceptualize and wish to implement having a beneficial effect for every citizen. Thank you very much for having participated in this event of launching a new work. Um, we will uh, do our best uh, to uh, produce the change, to have good changes, positive changes in the next two years. Thank you and good luck.